Hello, we are Global Sausage Show in Hong Kong and now we are in the hot weight booth. A few weeks ago, Apple launched iPhone 11. It's super expensive. So we're expecting some, um, some clones from some Chinese companies. So at this show, we found this company is making this uh, style phone uh, at this show. Let's have a look. So we have an Apple-like square shape on this corner holding three cameras and it also has a glass back. Let's check on this phone. It comes with a 5.7 inch uh, display and the resolution is HD+. They're using the IPS screen for this phone and the S ratio is 19 by 9. So we can see they're using a 2.5 glass uh, for the front cover and also at the back, I, we, just met, we just saw that they are using a, uh, another glass cover. So at the top, we have a big U shape. It's holding the front camera with 5 megapixels. At the bottom, we have a, a big uh, border. And on this side, they are using the metal frame. And we have a power button and volume buttons on this side. At the back, they're using the 8 megapixel as a main camera, and the rest of two uh, just 0 0.3 megapixel. With the glass uh, finishing, it's very nice, so we can see here. On this side, we have a slot for a SIM card and also a SD card. At the bottom, we have a speaker and uh, um, a mic. At the top, we have a, a audio jack and a micro USB port for charging. Let's check on the specs. This model, they're using the sim model name is Symbol Pro. The CPU is MT6739WA. It's a quad-core CPU. The screen is only 5.7 inch, so it's very easy for you to hold. The memory and storage is 3 gigabytes plus 32 gigabytes. The battery is 2,500 milliampere, so it's very light for you. They're offering two colors for this uh, Symbol Pro. One is black, I'm holding, and the other one is green. The next model we're going to show you in this booth is their K2 family. They come with uh, three different flavors, with K2 Prime, K2 and K2 Pro. The differences between these three uh, smartphones is their memory and storage, and also their K2 Pro will have a higher, will have a better chipset. So we see that K K2 Prime would have a uh, two gigabyte plus 16 gigabytes memory and storage and K2 would be 3 gigabytes plus 32 gigabytes and let's focus on K2 Pro which is the high-end um, model in this family so this K2 Pro comes with a 6.26 inch they are also using the IPS screen so we have a water drop notch at the top. It's holding the front camera with 8 megapixel. The uh, resolution is full HD. The aspiration is 19.5 by 9. Let's check on this phone uh, from different size. So we have a power button and volume buttons on this side. And on this side, we have a, a slot for a SIM card and also micro SD card. At the bottom, we have a micro USB port and also a speaker and mic. And at the top, we have an audio jack. Let's have a look on the back. We have a triple camera at the back uh, on this corner. They come with 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel, and the other one comes with uh, 0 0.3 megapixel, also with a flashlight here. And also, this phone supports fingerprint. So you can see 
This phone comes with a very nice uh, gradient color from one side to, the an to another. And also the K2 and K2 Prime, they also come with a, a gradient color. Uh, K2 Prime comes with a, a vertical gradient color from bottom to the, to the top, but K2 comes with a, a horizontal uh, gradient color ex effect. Let's check on the specs of K2 Pro. This phone comes with a MT6763V, it's an octa-core chipset, so the performance can be very good. The screen I mentioned just now is 6.26 inch, uh, we have a water drop notch on the screen. And the memory of this phone is 4GB plus 64GB. The camera the front camera is 8 megapixel and the rear cameras are 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel plus 0.3 megapixel the battery of this phone is 4150 mAh if you prefer you can choose the different colors uh, from this family from the gray to red to this green Another phone we're going to show you in the K family is the K3. It's a totally different phone from the K2 we just showed because it has a very nice back cover with a V shape from different angles from the, from the top, from the bottom, or from the left to the right. And also it made a cr uh, cross in the middle, so it's like an X. So let's check on this K K3. It comes with a 6.53 inch with a water drop notch uh, at the top. Uh, in this notch area, the front camera is 8 megapixel. They're using the two. They're using the 2.5D uh, glass for the front cover, and at the back, they are using the 3D cover. So they are making a very good shape. On this side, we have a um, power button and uh, volume buttons. And on this side, we have a slot for a SIM card and also SD card. At the bottom, we have a micro USB and also a speaker and mic. At the top of the phone, we have an audio jack. Let's check on this back. We have a triple camera on this corner. They come with 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel and the rest of it. And the other one comes with a 0.3 megapixel. We also have a flashlight uh, here. It also supports fingerprint sensor on uh, this phone. Let's check on the specs of this K3. The CPU they are using is MT6763V, it's an octa-core phone. The screen they are using is 6.53 inch with a water drop notch screen. The resolution is Full HD in cell. The aspiration is 19.5 by 9. The memory and storage of this phone is 4GB plus 64GB. The battery is 4150 mAh, uh, it's non-removable. In this K3, we have a, another color option for you. Uh, it's a gradient color from a big dark blue to a light blue. So you can choose uh, either color for your preference. According to this company, this K3 is their high-end model, so the price can be a little bit high. But if you want to have the same uh, color effect uh, on the phone, they offer another cheaper version, it's their uh, Venus V56. So let's have a look on this V56. It comes with a 6.26 inch uh, also with a water drop notch on the top they're using a QHD uh, for the resolution and the aspiration is 19.5 by 9 
The memory and storage they're using is 2 gigabytes plus 16 gigabytes, so it can be uh, much cheaper than K3. Um, on this notch area, they are using the front camera with only 2 megapixels. Let's check on the four sides. On this side, we have a power button and volume buttons. They are also using the plastic uh, uh, cover for this side. At the back, we can see the very nice gradient color from blue to green with a also X shape uh, from four sides. At the back, we have a, a triple camera on this corner. They come with two. They come with five megapixel plus two megapixel, and the other one comes with a zero point three megapixel. They also have a flashlight uh, at the back. There's nothing on this side. At the bottom, we have a mic and speaker. At the top, we have a micro USB and also an audio jack. Let's check on the specs of this V56. The CPU they're using is MT6739WA. Uh, it's a quad core chipset. The screen is 6.26 inch with a water drop notch on the top. The memory I just mentioned is only two mega is only two gigabytes plus 16 gigabytes. The battery they're using is 2,500 mAh.